Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video right now, we're seeing PlayStation users actually getting pretty upset right now on the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, as you guys probably know, the PlayStation 5 Pro is imminent. As in, like, literally this week, there's gonna be a lot more information, a lot more news, a lot more drops, and a lot more just things we're gonna be on the lookout for. Restocks, 30th anniversary editions, and I'm gonna try my best to be as on point for that as best as we can, and we'll get back to gaming news probably in a few weeks once the kind of hype on the restocks all settle down. But right now, it seems like some people are actually now upset on PlayStation and Sony for just kind of assuming the graphics aren't that big of a leap. People are just disappointed and basically people have been memeing these past few days, especially ever since we saw the Digital Foundry video kind of showcasing and having a hands-on of the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, I actually did do a reaction on that on the channel if you guys did go and see that. And in my opinion, I do kind of see these big upgrades and I'm very excited for the PS5 Pro, but I'm not everyone. And I probably would say I'm a little bit of a PlayStation fanboy myself. So it's kind of crazy to go and see the entire world's opinions and how a lot of people are actually quite disappointed in the PS5 Pro. So I want to hear your thoughts and comments throughout the video, what you guys kind of lean towards, if you guys think it's big improvements, if it's noticeable, or if I'm one of the crazy people assuming it's actually not. And of course, subscribe for our actual PS5 Pro giveaway. We have the uh, button to subscribe here and the second YouTube channel link down below. And of course, the Twitter links too as well. And the Twitch, all easy entries. And of course, if you like your thoughts, comments down below. And of course, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope we have a really good week as well. So we've had a chance to kind of highlight this really quick. And we've had a chance to showcase up. This is for the performance mode to the PS5 promo. Now, my webcam and my Christmas trees will be blocking stuff over here for a little bit. But I kind of always kept on saying, like, I can see the difference. Like, even on YouTube video, I kind of talked about this in a prior video. I can see it. This is the pro mode. You see a lot more textures on the backpack, the everything, like the water, the lines, everything like this to me looks blurry. And this is on a 4K video, by the way, too, on YouTube. This looks clean. I like it. Although there is also fidelity mode too as well, in case you guys want more like one to one comparisons. But this is where people are getting mad. They're assuming like some of the stuff and these are the high level stuff. We'll get into it. People are kind of basically yelling at people for having to literally zoom in to see differences like this. I never saw too much of a difference. I'll be honest. But, you know, and some stuff like this, I really did. Like I always kept on showing like the facial anime. It might be hard to get a little bit closer, but like in my mind, I felt like I saw really big differences. Now, some people may not. Some people may not care. Some people may not think it's worth $700 just to go and upgrade some of the graphics a little bit. Now, I understand that completely. Don't get me wrong. I'm a YouTuber. I make YouTube videos. I, I would probably make money by making more videos on it i'm giving one away for god's sake like like i get it i understand but in my mind i think it's a big improvement but obviously i am once again might be biased now there is also another big thing too and i'll show the fidelity mode versions too really quick so you guys have like at least the basis before we deep dive in the drama of this video but i also kind of felt the ps5 pro did also do nicer in the fidelity mode as well so fidelity is like better graphics performance is better frames and don't forget the big picture is the ps5 pro is meant to have both and they do. So right now, I think it's a win. I'm going to buy one. I have bought one. I'm giving one away. I'm excited for mine. I'm very, very excited for it. But when it comes to everything else, too, when it comes to the console, this is where things get a little bit like, you know, kind of 50 50 is people are just not really happy with it. Now, we've seen memes all throughout these past few months, even over here. Good example, trying really hard to see the difference between the PS5 and PS5 Pro graphics. And there is a lot out here, too, as well. PS5 Pro capable of ray tracing, AI upscaling, and specs, all worth, you know, $700. But it runs Bloodborne at 1080p, 1080p, uh, 30fps. And people have been making tweets like this all the time. Like, we're seeing stuff older, stuff newer, stuff everywhere. Uh, even the most recent days, especially when it comes to all the brand new information, when it comes to, uh, you know, the digital foundry, the hands-on, showing people showing the performance modes, as we're even showing up over here on these tweets. People are basically saying, what is going on? Now, some people are assuming like the, well, basically the graphics aren't that good and it's not even that noticeable. I'm once again biased. I feel like I see this. Like, I feel like I look at this from Digital Foundry and all these people with their hands on. I'm like, bro, this really does look like night and day difference. One is like blurry, blended together, kind of smudged together. And it still looks great. Like the performance mode down below on this right there. I think that looks amazing still. Like if you have a PS5 right now, that's totally fine. It's good. It's good stuff. But I will want to say, and I don't want to, like, I don't know, some people are saying I don't see anything at all. Zero, nothing, nada. I, I see it. Like, look at the eyebrows, look at the face, look at the eyes with the reflectatories on it, like it, every, like the pores, the like the freckles. Like, everything I see is actually like a big, 
a difference. And I really think it's also nice in setting up the groundwork for the PlayStation 6. Once again, we've kind of made videos on that so far. Uh, I still want to do maybe a deep dive at some point, but basically like AI will be learning. It'll get better over time. Like this is like the ground zero with no patches, no more optimizations and no AI integrations and PSSR. But it's crazy because people all over the place, man, are saying, hey, like some people are like, hey, man, a mid-gen generation refresh isn't really that needed in regards to the most recent Silent Hill. And some people are being like, oh, this is optimization faults or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But there are also some people who are just saying, hey, man, like if I just had a better console, it might work out better. It might just have better frames, might run better, might be more efficient, whatever it might go and be, which I'm kind of in that team boat with that too as well. And some people are even being like, hey, man, even the pros not can even make these games 60 FPS. Although there has been other notions of things like Dragon's Dogma moving up to like 50 FPS. And well, the other games too sometimes are more CPU based, which is where the bottleneck might be. And same thing with like ray tracing, the PSSR as well. And like at the same time too, people are like, well, you know, maybe these existing PS5 players are going to just feel like they're cheated if they don't have their PS5 Pro. But everyone's all over the place, man. And they're even saying more, not even as necessary as last gen, basically saying that this console is not needed. And I've kind of, I think most people would agree. Some people like, look at the, look at these comments, especially just go get a damn PC. PS Pro isn't uh, making the 60 FPS happen any more than the PS6 will. Get a PC, get a PC. I'm going to get the Pro, but 700 bucks is ridiculous. Imagine even playing on performance mode. Me laughing on PC. Am I blind or is only 800p? Like Blaine Boober, you know, like everything out here. It's not needed. It's a skill issue that they can even take advantage of these things. What's neat is optimizations. Bad optimized games are not the reason for mid-gym refreshers. Like, a lot of people are going crazy on this stuff. And it seems, like, very polarizing. Like, it really does seem, like, back and forth. And some people are like, bro, there is no, no big things over here, too. Maybe a good example on this one for more of the hate side. Eye doctors are going to start using this image to see if you need gra uh, glasses. But once again, people are all over the place, dude, because a lot of people are not happy with this PS5 Pro. I'm, I really, like, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm blind, maybe I'm the idiot here, but I do see the difference. And uh, granted, I understand, $700 is hard to justify. If you already have a PS5, you're going to be happy with it. Like, I, it's not the biggest graphical leap. And, like, I get it. Like, not everyone's going to spend that much money. If they've got the same game experience, it's not really fundamentally changing the game differently. I've said this so many times in my channel. But it's crazy that some people just don't like it. Oh, I mean, thankfully, some people do notice. Like, they're saying, like, hey, this is, like, the left side's blurry, or it's different graphics. You can't see the details or the line textures or whatever. I feel like this is, like, a night and day difference for me. Like, at least in my opinion. And I was also one of those people who saw the PS4 to PS5 as a huge graphical leap. Like, I think it's pretty good. But a lot of people are just not happy with it. Like, there's so many comments out there with people even back in the day. Corporate ones who do even find the difference in these pictures. And more so because some of these things have a lot of favorites and a lot of likes. And a lot of people are making these comments. Being like, there's just no reason. People just don't care. They're like, I can't even see the difference on these things. It's crazy. It's unironically crazy. Now, I don't want to be like the, oh my god, like how does people not see this? Because I get it. Like it's like a marginal increase. It's not as, as big. But like it is noticeable. But people are mad about it. I don't know. That's why I make the video. I think it's fun to hear your opinions down below as you guys are watching. And even this one's like, like I've said since day one, the PSSR is the single most exciting thing about the PS5 Pro, which I would agree. These are both running at the same internal resolutions. Main difference is the upscaler. The fact that the PSSR 1.0 is anywhere near as good as the DLSS is insane and will only get better. And once again, I agree. I think this will get better over time. The AI integration is meant to be better over time. That's the whole in purpose of it. That's the whole reason for it. Even look at this, even like GT7. It's gonna say G yeah, I guess GT7. We'll get a major graphics overhaul even for the PS5 Pro. Like they're they're working on this stuff. They're trying to make it worthwhile. And I'm not, I don't have to sell you guys it. I'm not getting paid for it. Who cares at the end of the day if you buy it or don't? I'm I'm happy with mine. I'm giving one away. I don't if you guys want to spend money on it, just Join the giveaway, it's fine. But I do think it's going to be nice. And I do think people are very upset about it and people are mad at Sony for not making it better or a better price or whatever. And like, I get it. I completely get it. It is expensive. 
the marginal increases are not that big. Some people may just wait for the PS6. 100% okay. Like, I don't I don't mind. Get a PC, too, as well. I have a PC. I love it. But it is crazy because people are mad about it. And people are still fighting about it. And people on Reddit and Twitter are still getting mad as well. And I just want to go and see brand new games and get good upgrades. And I'm excited to go and see what they're going to make at the end of the day. And also, would they make a very good PS5 Pro game? Monster Hunter or GTA 6? Whatever it might be. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. So And make sure you do all the stuff for the giveaway, the both YouTube channels, the Twitters down below, and the Twitch, all that good stuff. And leave a like in your thoughts, because I just want to know and hear all the yaps all throughout today, because it's crazy that people are just not happy about it. So I want to know your thoughts down below.